So I'm going to do a demonstration of um, how to apply three principles to keep people focused and attentive on, on what you're trying to convey, on the information you're trying to convey. So the first point on this, and I have to remember to draw slowly so my markers can keep up with me. Think about what the point is that you want to share and do that ahead of time. And then while you are talking, show, there we go, while you tell. So don't just leave it to a talking head. And the third thing, which you are witnessing right here, is to do it in front of people. Because once you do this kind of drawing in front of people, we're all traveling at the same rate on the same path. So those are the three principles. And so I'm going to demonstrate them right now. So here you are. Here we all are in our bubble. And we're in these meetings. And it seems like they just go on and on and on. And in the meantime, in this bubble that we're in, there are other things going on. So for example, if you are like some of us, you might be thinking during the meeting or before the meeting, if I can just go downstairs and throw in a load of laundry, I would be able to do more this evening for myself and that chore would be out of the way. Or, trying to make sure that you can see what I'm drawing. Or you might be one of those people that we talked about who periodically has a cat butt come through the video. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. Guilty. That's a bit of a distraction. Or like we mentioned, you might have little kids who are so thrilled that you are home with them and they are home and all they can think about is, why aren't you playing with me? Or somebody mentioned this the other day, it's a beautiful day and there are birds tweeting outside the window and all you can think about is how soon can I actually get outside? Or there's something that's going on uh, that there, people are starting to study, of course, because it's a great opportunity about this. And I talked a little bit about it, about managing my face. We have this situation now where we have an always on gaze. And that's exhausting us. And it's not what we're used to. The other thing that's going on that's exhausting is that when we are in meetings and we're able to see each other face to face, we have a lot more um, information, sources of the input than we do when it's just this much of us. So we're trying to interpret how people are feeling, what the backstory is, but all we've got from them is this single face. And we don't have this nice range of emotions. So we're trying to make a lot of interpretations on this emotional scale using very little information. And that's also exhausting us. And then we've got this stealth thing, the thing that's always a distraction for us, but now people can't actually see us doing it. And it's the phone and the text messages that we can send and receive and nobody knows. So we've got all of these other things going on, plus, one more, this is not a COVID virus, uh, but it's sort of looking that way. So one more thing that's going on is, I'll bet that there's more than one of these every day on your calendar. And about the time that I'm getting to the end of one, I'm thinking about the next one and what do I need to do and who do I need to be? So loads of things that are taking our attention away from 
the, what's actually going on in the meeting. Demonstration. Think about what is an image that will help you convey your message. Show and tell and draw live. That's me. 